Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We would love to have you. I want to say thank you to all that donate. Those of you that send me confirmation through emails, the emails, the bookings, okay? If you're waiting for a reading for, from me, I will be getting back with you shortly, okay? Tarot's about energy. We got high vibe. We got low vibe. We got those in the middle. No striving to be in the middle. Now, with that being said, this may or may not resonate with you. Some parts may resonate. Some parts may not okay so i heard there was a dropping of some information did someone get exposed okay somebody could also got gotten kicked out of the family lineage how do you do that possibly through spell work okay so somebody's ancestors is not happy for some of you this is somebody that you may have started a business with i'm hearing or you could even have a child either show me what it is last night this will be what is happening what is happening in the ethers okay so this is a variation of what happened last night we all know they are plotting okay i do feel like the spell work went out a few days earlier okay because these individuals do watch these readings so keep that in mind so what is it we need to know we have taboo okay so this is speaking about things that you know somebody once didn't believe in they possibly believe in now okay this is an indication of full moon so something there was a completion of something that happened uh this last full moon okay i'm hearing solar eclipse or this last lunar eclipse okay something something around this these different moon variations all right this is also speaking about thing, uh, people doing the unthinkable right this could be spell work this could be sexual gratification it just depends either show me we have been having that energy of tantric sex here. So we have secrets again. Someone wanting someone to be quiet or someone holding back some information that is taboo. So this is somebody holding back some information because they're afraid of what someone's going to say. Okay. Or someone, okay, somebody could be lying about their sexuality or their gender, I'm hearing. Yeah, so this is about advancements, okay. We have curses here. So someone could be trying to block someone's advancement spiritually, right? Through some sort of ritual, holistic work. This is something that's being done in secret, okay? Somebody could be sending you depression spells here, trying to block your creativity, okay? There was some information that was close to this person, okay? I feel like I'm hearing prying eyes, all right? If this person was doing some sort of teleportation or astral travel, they may, again, um, came back with some sort of mental disorder. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody could feel like they have a mental disorder or they're... Um, they're saying they're claiming that you have one here with the reconciliation. Someone did some spell work and they don't know the outcome of it. OK, so this is someone that practices um, dark rituals. Some of you have been doing your cleansing work here. Yeah, there was a, definitely a seed planted during this uh, new moon. OK, this seed could have been planted through someone in their masculine energy, whether they're male or female. But I do get the strong. OK. I do get this strong uh, energy of a male, okay? Somebody could have gotten someone pregnant, all right? I feel like someone may have had sex on their period as well. For some of you, you have a divine masculine trying to plant a seed with you. <laughs> some of you may be with your divine masculine. I don't know. Somebody could have gotten pregnant, okay? Know that you will be protected. However, I have to do the shadow of this reading, Okay. So with the, the queen here and the divine feminine, this is somebody that's stable here. I feel like if you are a divine feminine, you are a business owner, or you are very secure in your career, whatever it is that you do, okay? Somebody could be trying to send you negative energy through forms of business, okay? Some of, somebody could be trying to form some sort of contract with you. This could be a, a, a distorted masculine. Okay, you have to know the difference. I, I feel like through all these moon cycles, you, you were being geared up to follow your intuition about who is doing what. Okay, so yeah, this is somebody trying to manipulate your wealth here, okay? 
You're trying to block your dreams, possibly pirate your dreams. Check out that last reading that I did. This is someone that's very immature. Okay, this person does a lot of blood work. I feel like they get all they want, all the things that they need from doing this blood work. And I'm hearing that this person is being warned against it. All right. What's this taboo energy? That was fast. Okay. So, yeah, somebody plays victim. Okay. I feel like this person could have scapegoated you. I feel like this is an individual that may have lied and said that uh, you were doing some sort of ritualistic work on them. Okay. And in return, somebody ghosted someone here with the night energy and the priest. I feel like there may be a difference in belief systems. Why is secrecy here? Someone could have tried to make someone a victim, but I feel like strong someone plays the victim here yeah you have a saboteur i feel the energy of someone trying to send you a distorted masculine okay it could be a distorted feminine but someone that will sabotage your energy sabotage your career okay this person could be very romantic this person could have even given you flowers or thinking about giving you flowers if you do not take the their offer this person may uh, start some sort of fight with you be mindful of that with the hierarchy here the door is standing out someone could be trying to come to your home knock on your door unexpectedly why is hierarchy here Someone's doing a lot of things in secret, okay? They also do not want their secrets to come out. Ooh, networkers. So this is somebody gossiping, lying, okay? Uh, could be through social media, through text, email, all right? But it could also be in person. So it just conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood, okay? So somebody's lying about the way someone gets their money here. Okay, they could be calling you a thief, a clout chaser. I'm also hearing clickbait. Somebody's trying to set someone up. This is this person is addicted to your energy here. Okay, so this person, I feel like they have some abandonment issues. This person may be like, what is that called? A troll. I'm getting the energy of a troll here and the exorcist. This person could even have some sort of uh, entity attachment. Uh, hold on. When I cut off um, the camera, I heard someone is holding on to a lot of stale energy or stagnant energy from the past, okay? This person may even have, what is that called? Um, uh, arrested development here. Why is victim here? Why is victim here? You can show me what it is. Ooh, see, we still got that same energy coming out. So, yeah, look, look. This came out in the last reading. Make sure to check that out. And I did shuffle my cards. All right. So this is somebody that could have did some sort of spell work, tantric sex on you. Um, this is somebody that would have been married or has some sort of commitment on the side. This person um, has a sex addiction. They could also have been victimized as a child. This is something that they want to keep hidden. Why is victim here? Somebody has a fantasy, strange fantasy with blood, okay? We we had game over. So somebody's manipulative ways is coming to an end. This is also someone being a bully, okay, and using blood work. I did a reading where they talked, where I was talking about somebody needing a blood transfusion because of all the spell work. I feel like this is connecting with that energy. This came out in the last reading as well. So somebody was used as a tool, okay, that scapegoat, okay? This is somebody that possibly did some sort of curse or ritual through sleeping with you okay but this is also someone trying to steal your joy okay i do i heard anointed one a chosen one so this is someone that possibly could have peered into your akashic records in the past they're no longer able to do that okay this person could have stole your work look they want that to come out so somebody wants somebody to, to stay stay quiet to keep their mouth shut Okay, this is a thief here. This is a thief of joy. This is a thief of lies I'm hearing. Okay, this person has uh, unprotected sex. They could also be keeping a secret that they are into the same sex here. They could also be, you know, this is somebody they could also prostitute themselves. I'm hearing why is gay here? 
somebody could have gotten robbed last night, okay, from uh, a, a gay lover or, or from a trick. I'm just going to keep it 100, okay? Well, you are just an option, a gigolo, a thought, OPP, a escort. So, yeah, somebody got, something was robbed from someone, okay? This is somebody that was set up. This could be somebody that works for the government or uh, in the military. It has something to do with this. You're just an option, OPP. Yeah. So this is somebody that goes after people that are in long-term commitments. Know that you are safe. Whoever this person, if this is somebody that was holding back the fact that, um, I'm picking up the energy of somebody being married, okay? Somebody's married, but they secretly gay into the same sex, whether it's male or female. Somebody needs to wake up and realize they're being used here, Okay. Somebody also wants to keep it a secret that they use people with the poison bones, regression, count data, unacceptable impulses. Yeah, they feel like they'll be judged here. Yeah, this person goes with the status quo, okay? You walked away from this person. You learned how to defend yourself against this person. They could have been, again, attacking your solo, solar or salo, solar or sacral plexus chakra during sex, Okay. This is somebody that was very skilled with regression, count data, and acceptable impulses. Somebody could be having, like, uh, I heard immune uh, defense, deficiency. Somebody could lack calcium or something. Someone needs to take some sort of labs. Why is network here in reverse? Science. Okay. So the... This person gets the thrill out of stealing people's work, lying on you, trying to block your advancement here. For some of you, this is a work situation. This could be a, a co-worker spreading lies about you or putting lies on you in secret using spell work. Mm, mm, yeah, for, for some of you, something came out at work about someone's promiscuous ways. Okay, this could be a male or a female. Yeah. So this person could be trying to force someone's will. Again, I do feel like somebody's trying to set someone up to catch a disease. Okay. Cause we got the poison bones, regression, count data. Okay. So yeah, this could be a, somebody could have a gay lover or they may have something. Are they trying to give something to someone? Why is tool and deception here? Yeah, somebody was scapegoated here. Love yourself. So, yeah, this person has been miscues ways. This came out. This is what made me do this reading. This came out in the last reading that I did, okay? So, with the black magic, dark energy, and karma, okay? So, this person is receiving karma for whatever they did in the dark, whatever curse, slander, black magic, taboo sex. The game is over. Someone could possibly have been hired, but I feel like someone uses other people, like... They know they can't do it, so they feel like if they continuously ta attack you, you'll give up here. Why is tool on deception here? Somebody's definitely gay, and they're and, and they're stealing, whether if it's male or female. They're not showing their true their true selves. This came out again. This is somebody that either practices group sex or wants to have group sex. This was stuck to it. Okay, they want to use their sex as a weapon. Again, they're trying to set someone up to catch a disease here. All right, why is where where are the where the boys at? This is crazy. Yeah, somebody's going to get it. Yeah. Okay, you can't trust this person. If this resonates with you, you can't trust this person. This person tricks, they cruise, they pay for sex. Look, the divine wants you to see this. Okay? And one of their, the persons that they slept with could have pulled a gun on them, got them robbed, or set them up. Yeah, I'm hearing caught with your pants down. Check out that reading. Look. This is a, a sociopath. This person lacks remorse. They will set you up. They will give you something. This person is aggressive. They could pop. Yeah, this is what they're dealing with. They ran into a sociopath here. Look, cool. Somebody's watching you, watching them. But I feel like it's, they're watching them. Okay. I definitely get the energy of somebody meeting their match. Do it for yourself. Why is that here? The cookie. So this person is... 
somebody had a codependency on someone. This could have been somebody paying uh, the same sex, a secret lover, possibly paying somebody's bills. This could be a male here. This person is married or has like a long-term commitment. This is clarity for somebody, okay? Somebody's fearful of this coming out and it's going to come out. It's going, because it's meant to come out, all right? This person may have, they felt like this person came in and saved the day when they, need, they needed them. They could have also had uh, like a secret addiction or a fantasy uh, with this person. Okay. Yeah, they were, they were misled. Okay. They needed to change their point of view. Okay. Somebody could also be in film or they could be watching you on TV. If you have a platform or you could be watching them. It says we won't stop until some, we won't stop until somebody calls the cops. And even then we'll start again and just pretend that nothing ever happened. Okay. Uh, Kim Ye Dawson. All right. So this is somebody that throw stones and hide hands. They purposely mislead someone. This is definitely speaking about a married couple. Okay. This is somebody that comes from humble beginnings here. They hold back their true emotions. I feel like this person is yay, but if you if like say they hid that from you for, for somebody, they hid the fact that they were, they were gay. I don't know. I, I feel like this is a woman that they lied to. Look, angelic beings trust in L. I feel like their lover is, is casting spells. Okay, this is the the constellation prize. If you walked away from this person because they didn't step up to the to the plate, they went to someone that's a part of the LGBTQ community. Tell me why black magic is here. Like we don't know, we see curses here. Look, so somebody's gonna use the you. Somebody's gonna try to use the fact that they were under a spell. The reason why they slept with someone of the same sex but this person is promiscuous i keep hearing the power exchange that's like a, a sex club bdsm somebody could have met someone at a sex club or at a strip club bdsm look they're swimming in emotions here they may have cut you off because they didn't want you to find out that they were a part of the lgbtq community or they don't want their their wife to find out for some of you this is a domestic partnership for some of you it's flipped like it may be two women and they're sleeping with a man but for some of you it's a male and a female couple that's married and the male is sleeping with another man here they're trying to cover it up here we go look they're fearful of it coming out i feel like this person may have talked a lot of crap about you if you have a platform their spouse could be watching you sending you the evil eye lying it's all coming full circle here Look, the only true wisdom is knowing you know nothing, okay? So this person felt like they knew everything about their person, but they're finding out possibly through tarot that this person is gay, okay? And also that they have a gay lover that is doing uh, rituals on them, okay? It could be multiple people. This is somebody that they watch at a strip club or somebody that they met at some sort of club here. I keep hearing the power exchange. It's like some sort of secret sex club going on here, all right? So this person is wondering, how you know all this information they could also be wondering why their poison is not working now this could be physical poison or poison of the mind even spell word tell me more about this misleading energy Ciao. so this is a what's happening and what's going on and what happened last night all right reading so somebody got high and they did their little spell work all right I feel like if this is something that they uh, used to do, like maybe every once in a while, they became more addicted to it. So this person, you know, probably is not looking too well. They may be looking even sick. Okay. Always high. They could live on the West side. Somebody could be into rocks here. Rocks. <laughs> Ooh, Chad. I didn't mean, I mean like, um, psychedelic rock like you know heavy metal or something like that somebody could live in the suburbs okay but i do feel like this person does lsd or some sort of hallucinant okay but the sociopath here this is i feel like this is somebody that has money they're able to buy whoever they want but they were being tested here okay so this person may have uh yeah, they have like thrills and fantasies. I feel like this person may sleep around with a lot of women and they became attracted to someone of the LGBTQ. They have some sort of fantasy here. They met their match because they met someone that is a sociopath. Okay. 
So this person, I keep hearing, seeing fighting and sex. So this, this couple may like to fight and have sex here. All I can offer is sex and our drugs. Okay. So this is their friend. Okay. This is their friend. They don't like you. And this friend does spell work. I'm trying to tell you, look at this downfall. This is the conjurer. They plot. They con continuously plot. Look, and I told you chaos, conflict, backfire. These people do this. They fight and it's like a turn on for them. Okay. So somebody's mourning the loss of a partner that this could be physically, this could be a loss of finance, or this could be a death. Okay. What other information do I need to let be known? Ooh. So this person, yeah, their mask is coming off, okay? So science, tomorrow do, all right? So this person is going to continue to do the spell work. Make sure um, you protect yourself, okay? And, yeah. Yeah, look, I don't want to stop in reverse. So they, they have no choice to stop because all the spell work now is catching up to them. If they work in some sort of club, they could be having their items stole. Like this person is receiving all kind of karma. For some of you, they somebody could have lost a child. My condolences here. All right. But you are on your life purpose with the E equals MC2 square. That is telling me that you need to protect your energy, first of all. But there was definitely negative energy sent towards you or someone that you're dealing with. OK, I'm hearing somebody passed over from a disease, possibly in their family or an illness. This is a soul contract here. OK, so if somebody is spiteful and vengeful. They don't want this toxic love affair to end. All right. So it says it can't be true, but oh, baby. Oh, yes, it is. So this is somebody that is watching readings. OK, are they having some sort of premonitions that this is happening? I feel like this is somebody's wife. It's true. OK. All right. This person is, you know, they're refraining from sex from you because they're having sex at like some sort of sex club. They're paying for it here. Somebody could be going to jail or getting a divorce. Or this is somebody that you divorced from. Rather, if it well, I heard a spiritual divorce, but this could also be a physical divorce. I feel like this is somebody's karmic masculine or even your twin. OK. This is something that was karmic in nature. This person played a lot of games with the thief in the night. I feel like this, they kept a lot of secrets with a lot of different people. They're very much promiscuous, okay? They have a misogynist energy around them because they're sleeping with so many different people. They have so many different entity attachments to them. They're just toxic. They're not safe, okay? It says hides behind a username. So this is going to be revealed. You have somebody stalking you on a fake profile, all right? If they're not stalking you on a fake profile, they're lying to you. All right. So this is someone pretending to be someone that they're not or pretending to be someone else. This is happening to an empress. All right. This is somebody that you walked away from, somebody that you know is a part of the LGBTQ community or, you know, this person is married. All right. You can show me what it is. Somebody needs to surrender to now. Right. Accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decision that goes into this can't be true. Yes, somebody is wise. OK, so somebody may be accusing someone of lying and, and this and that. And they're saying, no, 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 no. This is true. All the information that you're getting is, is true. But somebody has a codependency on someone else's energy and that other person knows that with the arrow somebody's getting divine visions dreams okay I'm, I, I heard shooting for success and suffering from success okay so i feel like somebody is getting their energy um back okay i heard also her accolades it says surrender yourself with protect uh, surround yourself with protection protective energy and surrender fear this person has a poverty consciousness for some of you this person may even sell themselves um for money but they're not actually gay okay yeah look at we have elder move beyond ancestral patterns okay so somebody has a history of sex work or a history of being a gigolo they need to learn how to trust the divine and i'm being told to let it go let it flow i'll tell you later